today we are going to be talking about Neocash on Neopets, what it is, what you do with it, and how to trade it. Neocash is a big mystery point for a lot of people, especially in the trading sphere, because it is so complicated to get into and there aren't really any guides on how to start. I have been Neocash trading for a good year now and I have kind of gotten the hang of it, so I hope that this video is somewhat helpful. It's not going to be a perfect guide, but I'm going to try my best, so let's get cracking. Neocash is the real money currency that can be purchased on Neopets. It's usually used to buy clothing, accessories, accessories, backgrounds, that kind of thing that are 20 times cuter than the Forever 21 bargain bin shit you can buy for Neopoints, which is the other in-game currency that you can earn without any real money involved. But it can also get you more pet slots, Neoboard pens, key quest tokens, and all kinds of other random items. So let's first talk about how the NC Mall works. The NC Mall, which is right here under the shop tab, is the place where you go to buy all Neocash items. You'll be brought to this big white screen right here on the old format of the website. This is the hub for purchasing all currently available Neocash items. You can see all of these tabs here. We have new, we have popular, we have a list of different Neopet items, games, that kind of thing. Each one of these categories will have a different selection of items in them, and some may be harder to find, so keep that in mind. On the front page here, you're going to see a lot of different things. Right now, an NC event is going on, so we're going to disregard that, but what you would normally first see on the main page is a selection of capsules. Capsules are unfortunately similar to rolling the dice in a gacha game. If if you purchase and open these guys, you will receive one to two items from a pool of different prizes. These cost 150 Neo Cash each, which is about $1.50, but we'll talk more about values later. These ones at the top here, the Gleaming Gothic Baby Mystery Capsules, will have a much smaller pool of prizes. These are brand new items, which means they've never been in the NC Mall before. Down below that is a similarly themed Retired Mystery Capsule, which means that the prize pool will be filled with items that have already been in the mall before. The NC Mall releases new items items every month or so in these different tabs, and these guys will only stay around for a short amount of time before they're unavailable for purchase. Once these items are taken off the market, i.e. retired, they may come back in a retired mystery capsule like the one I just showed you. So this baby candy cane handheld will only be on sale until December 31st. On December 31st, this will retire and it will no longer be able to be purchased. Each retired mystery capsule has only a certain selection of retired items in it, so how do you see what items you have a chance at getting? That is where Jelly Neo's item database comes in. I'm going to make yet another Google Doc for you guys, which will be in the description that has all of these resources but basically you're going to go to jellyneo.com, which I have up here because I visited a lot, and you're going to scroll over here to item database, right? And this is where you're going to be able to search up the name of any of the capsules currently in the mall. The ones that I have are new, so they're going to be like right here. You're going to be able to click view more and see the new capsules right down here, so that's easy, but if you can't find them, you can just search the name of them, so you would search baby barbat, retired mystery capsule, or whatever. Right now, as I said, we have the gothic baby capsules, which have items that are only wearable by baby pets, meaning that your pet has to be painted baby. This happens sometimes. There's also usually capsules specifically for Moroccan and mutant pets, so I just decided to record this at an awful time, but you can usually find capsules that are for any pet, and that is the most common thing. If it doesn't say baby or Moroccan or mutant in it, they are for all pets. Okay, cool, got it. So if you were planning on buying these capsules for any pets that aren't painted baby, don't do that. Anyway, if we click on the capsules, we can see a list of what isn't inside them. If you scroll down here, you'll see inside this item. It'll also specify in the categories what type of capsule this is, so if you can't figure it out, it'll say re-release. This mystery capsule awards items that are retired and no longer obtained from the NC Mall, so shows you right there if you are a little confused. This capsule will randomly award one to two items, and you may select one or two of the following categories to narrow down your possible item. So what this means is you will most likely get the ability to pick one category, but every once in a while you'll be able to pick two, and it'll say this when you open the capsules. There are three categories you can pick from. There's clothing right here, there's accessories, and backgrounds, and trinkets down here. So when you open up the capsule, you will get to pick which one of these selections you want, and it'll give you an item from that category. So if you want a background, you click on background, etc, etc. The regular mystery capsules will have a much smaller pool of items than this. Let me show you right here with the gleaming gothic one. There's nothing here that says it's a retired re-release mystery capsule, so we're good there. Inside this item, this capsule will award one of the following 
following exclusive items. So it'll be any of these items that you get with every single capsule. You could get the bob wig, you could get the gothic binky, things like that. There are also bonus items, which are items that have a rarer chance of appearing and will come in addition to your one item from the capsule. So you could get the overalls up here, and as a bonus, you could get the baby barbat costume, the baby barbat pet pet companion, wow that's so hard to say, or the baby gothic nursery background. Again, these are only for babies, but usually capsules are for every pet. So that's what a bonus is. These are a lot rarer. If you get one, keep it in mind, you might be able to trade it later. We will talk more about these capsules when they become relevant, but let's go back to the mall. Pet slots up here are pretty simple. They are 500 NC each. With Neopets, you are given the ability to create six pets when you first open an account, and if you buy premium, you can make 10 pets. If you wanted to purchase these pet slots, you could have up to 20. Easy peasy. So I've purchased four of them because, uh, anyway, but you can purchase up to 10. So in total, you could either have 16 or 20 pets, depending on if you have premium or not. These cannot be traded, so you cannot ask for these in a trade. Just keep that in mind for later. If we go up here to popular, you will see these fortune cookies. So fortune cookies allow different buffs on normal gameplay. The fairy quest fortune cookie, for example, gives you a fairy quest a day for nine days, when those would usually be extremely rare and only happen by random event. Fairy quests are super valuable in a lot of ways, like giving your pet battle dome stat boosts and occasionally rainbow fountain dips. So I have one running right now, let me show you. You'll get this banner at the top after you've activated them. You have to purchase them, then go into your Neocache inventory, which I will show you later, and activate them. And then you will be able to accept a cookie quest a day. So it'll tell you how long your fortune cookie lasts for. It's super easy, super simple. It's just like getting a random fairy quest, but you are guaranteed one each day. The lab ray cookie works in a similar way. I have one extra zap. You can get between one and three, and it'll just allow you to use the lab ray multiple times instead of just one. So those are also really sought after, and they're cheaper than capsules. They're between like 100 to 125, I believe, except for the archives fortune cookie, which will basically give you access to a wheel, and you will be able to spin that wheel once a day for three days and get an archive item from a pool. That pool is also on Jelly Neo, so if you wanted to see what you could get from this fortune cookie and the fortune cookie wheel, you can check Jelly Neo. If you go into the specialty section, you will see something called Key Quest, which has Key Quest tokens. I would not recommend buying these because Key Quest is a broken game, but these do give you interesting items, so if you only want to buy them for the items, you can. There aren't a lot of them that are super fantastic, but there are a couple. They're just more expensive than normal capsules, so you'd have to really want that specific item. It was a Nickelodeon game, I believe, and that's no longer being kept up, so you cannot use the tokens themselves. Just wanted to tell you about that. Keep your money unless you really want one of the items. As I kind of skimmed past earlier, there are a lot of times NC events, like this is currently the Stocking Stufftacular. These will give you a prize every single day as long as you buy a ticket, so you could buy one ticket, get one prize, you could buy all of the tickets and get 25 prizes, that sort of thing. It's usually cheaper to buy all of the tickets, but those all have different rules for each one, so I can't really explain them to you, but they can be good deals. Sometimes the items are just kind of shitty, but it's not really set in stone, so if you really like Christmas, you might want to go for these, or you could do the Haunted Mansion event during Halloween, things like that. Make sure you look at the rules specifically though, make sure you know what you're getting if you're going to buy one of these. These aren't necessarily useful for trading all the time, but sometimes people will want to trade a ticket for one of their items, so that's where that fits into all of the trading stuff. Gift box mystery capsules are a huge deal. If you want to gift or trade any Neocache items, you will need something called a gift box, which you will occasionally receive from Trudy's Surprise, so if you see a little pop-up that says basic gift box, that means you got one. If you want to check if you have any, you're going to want to go into your inventory and switch over to NC right here where you will see all of your NC items. So I have basic gift boxes right here. That's what they look like. You will probably have a couple if you've done your Trudy Surprise each day. The most common way to get these gift boxes is from a gift box capsule. A new one of these gift boxes will come out every month or so, but they're all pretty much the same except for the aesthetic. This month's gift box capsule, or GBC, is the Dreamy Gingerbread Gift Box Mystery Capsule. So that's what this is right here. It's 200 NC. There's two ways to buy Neocash, and one is a way better deal than the other. The first, which is the most well-known way, is to do it directly through the NC mall. So you're going to go to get Neocash, and you can buy them in denominations of 5, 10, 20, 50, and $100. You can't buy just 100 Neocash, unfortunately. You have to buy either 5 or $10 if you want to buy a small amount of Neocash, and this comes out to about $1 per 100 Neocash, right? This will take a little while to hit your account, so if you buy Neocash this way and you're waiting for it to come, wait a couple hours, it'll take a while, but it will eventually hit your account. There is, however, a roundabout way to purchase Neocash that makes your dollar stretch a little bit farther. So back in the Neopets heyday, you used to be able to buy Neocash cards in stores 
stores. These would have a code on them that granted you a certain amount of Neocash, kind of like other virtual world membership cards. These are no longer available in the US, but there are some people who are still able to attain them, I believe in Brazil, but I'm not 100% sure on how it all works, so correct me if I'm wrong. These cards are sold at a cheaper rate, so you can see 750 NC card for $7, that is a better deal if you think about it, and you get two gift boxes with them, so you don't have to buy a whole separate gift box capsule to get gift boxes, which is really great if you want to NC trade. I'm not going to say the names of these shops in this video because I'm not 100% sure how Neopets feels about them, but they will be linked in the document below and you can make your own decisions. I've personally had no problems with the safety of NC cards and neither has the community, but I can't guarantee you that you won't have an issue with them, so do so at your own risk. It's just a better deal, so decide if you want to take that route. It's not my problem either way. <laughs> so now that we know what's in the NC mall, how to get Neocash and what it can be used for, let's talk about trading it. Why would you want to trade Neocash items in the first place? Well, first of all, with the gotcha aspects of mystery capsules, you don't always have a good chance of getting what you'd like from them. I have a lot of items here that I didn't actually want, like these mint green carved wings, this cheerful daffodil staff. These are all from old capsules and they're in my inventory because I honestly didn't want them. They were not what I was hoping I would get, but I can't choose what I got from those capsules because it's completely random. So now I have these items that I just don't want. They're not for me. Somebody may be looking for this exact item or a different item that you have and want to trade their own pulls from that capsule with somebody who does have their desired items. Not only this, but with the constant cycle of new items being added to the mall, there may be old clothing or accessories that you can no longer buy that you'd like to customize your Neopets with. Neocash clothing and accessories are very different from Neopoint clothing and accessories in the way that they can usually fit any species of pet. Maraquin, mutant, and baby items can only be worn on those paint colors though, so be wary of that, but everything else can be switched from species to species. So when normally you would find a wig that was specifically made for Aisha's say, like this one that is on After Lively, the Aisha Warrior wig, I could not put this on a Blue Maru, I could not put this on any other pet species. But with a Neocash item, like the Sunny Garden dress she's wearing, I could put this on any of my pets. Anybody could fit in these items, and they're usually a lot cuter. The art is also just generally more detailed, even being animated at times, like I have on iPod here. This is an animated premium collectible, which you get for free if you're a premium member. One of my favorite customs that I've done is on Zitazio, the burlap Blue Maru, and this custom is entirely made of Neocash items. See, that is all Neocash, and it looks very different. There's animated things going on, the art is beautiful, whereas Neopoint customs can either be super expensive if you want nice items, like in the millions of Neopoints, or they just look a lot more dull. So let's get into the actual meat and potatoes here. The first thing you're going to want to do when learning how to Neocash trade is to make a Dress to Impress account. Dress to Impress allows you to model any clothing item on any color of Neopet and create full outfits without actually having to own any of the items. It's a really fantastic resource for planning customizations, but it does a lot more than that. You do not need to use your Neopets username for this if you don't want to. DTI is not connected with Neopets in any way except for the models used, so you're just going to want to do whatever you want for your username. I decided to use the same as my Neopets account to make it easier for people, but you don't have to. I'm not going to walk you through how to make an account because it's very easy. You just choose a username, you put in your email, I think. You might not even have to put in your email, I don't know. But it's like making an account on any other website, so we'll go from there. Once you've made your account, you can begin planning what items you're looking for. I've created this little custom for reference. I just looked for items matching the aesthetics that I wanted via keywords. You can search for wigs, dresses, pants, things like that. So if I wanted a certain wig for her, I could just search wig and it would bring up all of the Neopets wigs that fit her specifically. So we could try this wig on and it would load onto the PNG of the pet. It's a good way to see all of the items you might want to customize with without actually having to own them. Cool, right? Sick. Amazing. After you do that, you're going to want to open another DTI tab, so keep that original one and open up a new one and then go up here by your username and click on items. Scroll down to this section, which is items you want, and then click add new list. You can name this whatever you want, but I usually do just like seeking or wish list or something. Make sure it says it's under items you want, and then you're going to want to make sure this is either public or trading. If you set it as trading, make sure you're comfortable with people contacting you about your wish list. People looking on DTI will see this directly and can look at it at any time. If you just set it to public, anybody who sees the link can see it or looks up your username. It'll just show on item pages, so just so you know. I don't have anything I want to add to this description, so I would go to save list. Fantastic then you are going to have a wish list. I have two items on here. I'm really looking for Mouth Be Gone, but nobody has it. So this is what it would look like. I also have down here an old custom that I'm no longer working on. It's a private list because I might go back to it at some point, but you can make multiple different lists for different customs if you want to. Just do whatever 
you want. Then you're going to go back to the custom you made and you're going to go over and click the I button next to whatever item you want to add to your wish list. And then you're going to go ahead and click right here in the items you want section, change it to one under seeking, and then save to your items. And then it will show up on your seeking list. Look at that. Fantastic. Now it's there. And then if you just want to look for items specifically, you can search up here in the search bar. So let's say I wanted something pink. You can search for pink up here and it'll show you all of the items with pink in the name. On this page, there will also be a selection of how many people are publicly trading this item and how many people are looking for it. This will give you a pretty good idea of how easy it's going to be to get. If it seems like way more people have it than are looking for it, like with this item, it'll be pretty easy to get and vice versa. We'll talk more about that later. You're going to want to keep adding items to your wish list until you have everything you want for a custom or just everything you want in general. The next step will depend on if you already have some NC items or if you're just starting. If you have a collection of Neocash items that you'd like to trade, you're going to go ahead and use this search bar to look for them and add them to your trade list. You're going to quickly do the same thing as you did when you made your wish list, add a new list and name the items you own list, whatever you want. You can name it trade list or TL or whatever. Both mean the same thing. I have mine organized a little bit more, but you don't have to. So I'm going to say that I want wanted to add the Atop and Asteroid premium collectible to my list of items that I want to trade. It'll be there, it'll show up there. Perfect. I actually have it in my regular trade list because it's not that cool, but it will show up there. I will show you how to value them later. Unopened capsules and things like fortune cookies cannot be added to this list, but you can make a note that you're seeking them if you'd like when you create each list. So if I was going down here to make my seeking list, I could add in the description section like, hey, I want this capsule. If you're just starting out, you can either buy and open a few capsules and add the items to your trade list or just save your NC for when you actually want to trade. So you have your DTI list now. Congratulations. We can actually make a trade now, but there's a couple things you need to know first. Of course, in any economy, items have value. Most items on Neopets are priced very similarly in terms of Neocash, so how are the values set for trading? NC Trading uses a user-made standard of gift box capsules, again abbreviated to GBC, to value items. Gift box capsules stay at a steady price, are always useful, and provide a good baseline for trading. The amount of gift box capsules an item is worth is based on the rarity, age, and demand for that item. Values of items are not set in stone and they vary from player to player, but there is a universal standard that is used. So estimated values are listed on a pet page called owls. This is going to be neopets.com slash owls right up here. And this is our gold standard. So I was searching something earlier that is just control F. So if you want to search, if you want to look for a specific item, you can just type it in here, blah, blah, blah. This will tell you the known GBC amount on almost every item and they are all listed alphabetically so if an item says one to two like a hero's welcome background it is worth one to two gift box capsules if an item says zero zero like the triple a thought bubble that means the value hasn't yet been estimated you will sometimes see the gift box capsule estimate referred to as the owls value this again is not set in stone and will be up to the player usually people will be on the lower end of these values so a one to two gift box value would probably end up being one gift box capsule usually these values are used as a guideline for item to item trades and making sure they're fair. So one item worth one to two gift boxes would be a fair trade for another item worth one to two gift boxes. So the Altador Cup battle armor could be a fair trade for the Altador Cup cheerleader laurel wig, you know, because they're both worth the same amount. So you don't actually have to trade any gift box capsules. These are just used as value calculators, but sometimes people will just trade gift box capsules. So it kind of depends. Two items worth one to two gift boxes may be a fair trade for an item worth three to four gift boxes and so on. I know this is super confusing. I'm sorry. It'll make more sense when I show you an actual trade. Regular mystery capsules usually count as one gift box capsule too, so someone may offer you a mystery capsule that's currently in the shop for one of your items. So how do you get super high value items, you may ask? It's a gotcha game. You don't. You might get an item worth 10 GBC from a mystery capsule, or you might get one worth one. You don't know. It's just a complete gamble every single time, so make sure every time you get an item, you go to that owl's pet page and you search for it, and that will tell you exactly what it's worth. You honestly don't need high value items unless you're also searching for high value items, but they are good leverage and they're nice to have. Since mystery capsules are so random, it really is just luck. Black Friday gift box capsules or BFGBCs are gift box capsules specifically sold during the Black Friday sale. These gift box capsules always give at least four gift boxes, so they're higher in value. They are not currently available. They were available a couple weeks ago and they will not be available again until next Black Friday. Once again, gift box 
gift capsules are not the same as gift boxes themselves. Gift boxes come inside gift box capsules. These usually count as two or more normal gift box capsules. So one BF GBC is equal to two GBCs or somewhere around that vibe. There's also Dye Works pots down here, which go along with the Dye Works NC game. Every couple of months, old items will be put back into the shop for Dye Works. I believe there's some coming up pretty soon, but there will be this little Dye Works tab up here. You can buy one of those little pots for 150 Neo Cash, and then you can come here to see what's currently dyeable. Any of these items will be back in the shop. You can buy them and then use the Dye Works potion in your inventory to color them. You get to keep both the original item and the new Dye Works version, which will say Dye Works and the color in its name. So you get two items out of one. The color you get is completely random, so it's kind of another gotcha thing. These only last for a few months, so if you see a Dye Works item you like, get it. Jump on it. Some people will also ask for the pot specifically in trades, usually right after the Dye Works are announced. Let's actually delve into the NC trading boards now. So you're going to want to head over to the Neo boards under the community tab and then go down to the NC trading board and then you're going to see a lot of people advertising their trades. So this person is looking for a certain Dye Works of Silver Resplendent Wings, seeking any stocking stuffacular packs, some casual trades. Casual trades means they will be less likely to be picky on their items and want to make more trades. They're probably just doing it for fun. You may see things that say S and O. So S means seeking. So they are seeking the items after this. This person is seeking any wishes. And O means offering. So they are offering their trade list and Black Friday gift box capsules. Makes sense? Cool. Like I said, all of these abbreviations will be in the document down below. So if you're looking for something specific, I would recommend clicking on somebody's board and copy pasting their DTI link. Just put this into your browser, super easy, super simple, and it will show you exactly what they have for trade and what they're looking for. It'll look just like your list. This is the 2020 version. It doesn't matter which one you use. They're the same website. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what these terms mean real quick. HTPW is going to mean hard to part with. So these items are harder to trade. People will only want to trade these for their big wishes usually. Not for trade usually means that these are items in somebody's closet that they're just trying to keep track of. You may not offer on these. If something says closet or not for trade, usually people are not really willing to trade it with you, so just steer clear of those lists. UFT means up for trade, so these are all of the items that this person is trading right now. High priority just means high priority. They want these items the quickest, they want these items the most, right? Some people will also just have like a low priority list. You can offer those if you want to, but you're basically going to want to try and find lists that have items that you have, or if you don't have any items, we'll get to that later. So let's say that I had this cherry blossom face paint and I wanted this armory background. I don't know why I would want this armory background, but what you're going to want to do here is look up the item that you have on Owls and look up the item that this person has on Owls. I chose a bad example. The armory background is buyable, but let's say that the artwork display garland is what I wanted. So that would be one to two. And again, let's say that I had a sorted potion shelf on my TL. So these two values match up and it would be a fair trade. You're going to want to try and match values or if you can't match values have two items that add up to the value of the item that you want. And then I would go ahead and go back to their board and say, hi, I have X item that's on your wish list. Would you be willing to trade for X item that I have? Super simple. They may say no, they may say yes, but usually if it's something on their wish list and it matches up with values, you're going to get a trade. What if you see something on somebody's trade list that you want, but you don't have anything to trade? This is where a custom comes in. So this is my friend Vi's lovely little DTI page. So let's say I really wanted their birthday kawaii contacts, but I didn't have anything to trade. I could offer them a custom, which means that I will buy something from the Neo Cash Mall for them and trade it for this item. So I could say, hi, I'm offering you an 150 custom for this item, which means that I will buy something from the Neo Cash Mall for them and trade it for this item. So I could say, hi, I'm offering you an 150 custom for this item, which means that they would be able to pick any item worth 150 NC or less from the Neo Cash Mall for me to purchase and send to them. So let's say that they wanted a gothic baby capsule for their birthday kawaii contacts, right? I would go to the NC mall, buy them a gothic baby capsule, and then send it to them. So that would be what a custom means. Some people will ask for higher customs or they will just name an item. So a gift box capsule, an NC archives fortune cookie, they may ask for something like that. Super easy, that's what a custom is. So if anybody ever asks you for a custom, maybe you'll make a trade that way. But that's an easy way to do it without having any items. Or you can just offer gift box capsules. Some people will say they specifically don't want gift box capsules and there's really nothing you can do about that, but you can pretty much always offer. If 
they say that they're interested in it, not a big deal. If they say no, they say no. Basically, you're just always going to kind of want to not lowball people. Don't offer on a two to three owls item with a one to two owls item. Owls is the same thing as GBCs, by the way, just to be sure everybody knows. Just make a fair offer and usually people will be kind about it. If you're courteous, people are nice. People are kind. So let's say that you have made a trade. Somebody wants to trade one of your items or a gift box capsule or whatever for one of their items. What do you do? You're going to want to go back to their board and ask them which account they would like the item sent to. Some people want them sent to side accounts, so you're just going to want to ask for that username. Great, what account would you like the item sent to? And then they will tell you whatever username and they will probably ask you the same question to which you would give the answer of whatever username you would like your item sent to. So once you have that, you're going to want to copy that username and go back to your NC inventory. Make sure that you have some gift boxes in there and then you're going to click on those and then select an NC item to gift. If the item is in your closet, you're going to have to click here in closet and take it out. But if I was trading black hearts gown, I would click submit here, type in or copy and paste their username. So let's say I was sending it to myself and you can add a message if you want to, you don't have to. Then you're going to click submit, put in your password and it'll send. You'll usually get a Neo mail in your notifications that says that they have received the gift box. And then they're going to do the same for you. So you'll get a notification up here. You're going to have to go to the transfer log and accept it. So there will be a notification that says like you've received a Neo cash gift box from blank and then you're going to accept that and then it'll send a neo mail to that person letting them know that you have accepted it and the trade will be done you're going to go back to the board just type up a little funny thank you and you're done you've made a neo cash trade right cool. Also real quick, let me touch on something. There are items in the mall that are available year round. So if you go to Neopets clothing up here, you'll see items like this flower petal dress, fairy Lenny dress, that kind of thing. Do not buy these for trading. They will not trade. You can get these in gift box capsules, even from the money tree. Sometimes they won't trade. Don't waste your money on these things. Okay. Only get things that say that they're going to retire capsules. Cause you can also ask for capsules if you'd like, or fortune cookies or something, or just say seeking wish list, right? So I'm going to do the C and then the colon gleaming gothic i can't type now baby capsules and then you're going to want to do o and then if you're offering custom so being able to buy somebody something from the neo cash mall you're going to type custom or if you have gift box capsules type gbc or if you just want to trade items type in tl you can add an emoji if you like and then you're going to want to say what you're seeking so i decided to put hi i'm looking for a couple gleaming gothic baby capsules and offering everything on my trade list i'm also seeking my wishes some people might say that they're offering pops which would basically mean popular items or items worth a lot so you could say that if you have an item worth a lot or something that you see being traded a lot you can add cool little details about what you have for trade in the title if you want to i just don't have anything that cool so then you're going to go back to your dress to impress and copy the link right here make sure that it's the link to your closet and not just the general link it'll say like blah 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 your username and then closet make sure that that is the link that you're getting and then you're going to paste it into the body of your neo boards post. Make sure you get rid of the HTTPS right here and the slashes because otherwise Neopets won't let you post it. It's completely fine to post it. It just has a weird filter. So you're going to have to remove that. And then you're just going to post this and wait for people to offer on it. You're going to bump it every couple minutes, just like you would a pet trading post or something. That just means you're going to put another message at the bottom of it to bump it up back into the top of the Neo boards. Make sure to look up the value on owls again to make sure that you're not getting scammed. But if you want to accept a lower offer, you totally can. If you just need some gift box capsule, because you're running low, you can also go ahead and post about that. Some people will run sales where they take the values down so you can get two items for the price of one. So like one gift box capsule for two items, you can do that as well. Other than that, you're just going to want to follow that same convention of waiting for somebody to offer, make sure you like the offer, and then send each other your Neo Cash items. So you would just create your topic, you're good to go. It's not too hard, it's not too appalling, it's super easy to go around and select items on DTI. DTI is really the best tool for this because because you can just look through everything. Like look how easy it is to just change things around. Enjoy yourself. That's the biggest part of it. Make sure you're having a good time. Make sure you're having fun. Be kind to everybody on the boards. And that's about it. I hope that this was at all helpful for you guys. I think it's a lot less intimidating than trading pets, but it's also its own separate beast. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to all of my members. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you next time. Good. Bye.